Let's take a look at how we can figure out whether HCl plus NaOH yields H2O plus NaCl if this is a redox reaction or not. So we can use these rules right here to assign oxidation numbers to each element, and then based on that we can figure out whether we have a redox reaction. Let's give it a try. So hydrogen, when it's bonded to nonmetals, it's going to be plus one. So right here, plus one, we have hydrogen bonded to the oxygen. Oxygen's a nonmetal, plus one. And here again to oxygen, plus one. Each one of these here is plus one. So we have our hydrogens. Chlorine, that's in group 17. It's usually negative one with a few exceptions. So here, bonded to hydrogen, negative one, and bonded to the sodium, that's going to be negative one. Finally, our oxygens. Oxygens are negative two with a few exceptions. Negative two here, negative two here. Oh, forgot sodium. Sodium's in group one. It's always plus one. So now we have our oxidation numbers. If you need help with oxidation numbers, jump over to my website. There's lots of help there for oxidation numbers and redox reactions in general. All right, so let's see whether these numbers have changed. So to figure out if we have a redox reaction here with HCl plus NaOH, we need to figure out if the oxidation numbers changed. If you look at hydrogen, hydrogen's plus one, plus one, plus one, doesn't change. Chlorine, negative one, negative one. Sodium, plus one, plus one, and then the oxygen, negative two, negative two. Nothing changes. Because nothing changes, the oxidation numbers don't change, there's no transfer of electrons, that means this is not a redox reaction. So in answer to our question, HCl plus NaOH, our hydrochloric acid plus sodium hydroxide, forming the water and the sodium chloride, this is not a redox reaction. This is Dr. V. Thanks for watching.